Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Book 2, Unit 4, Future with Going To. Dear students, in this lesson we will study about future with going to. Let's look at the objectives of this unit. After completing this unit, you will be able to use future tense with going to and indirect objects and also present continuous for the future. Let's look at the first example. I'm going to buy something special. Okay? I'm going to buy something special. Okay, so going to here tells you about future. I'm going to buy something special. That means in future you are going to buy something special maybe today evening or tomorrow or next week or whatever you are going to get a present okay so soon maybe this week or next week or at the end of this month you are going to get a present she is going to be 65 okay maybe next month or next year she is going to be 65 we are going to send some flowers. They are going to have a class party. What are you going to do for Eid? I'm not going to do anything special. Are you going to have a class party? Yes, we are. We are going to invite all the students. No, we are not. We are not going to do much. So in all these sentences you can see we have used going to to tell you about future. Remember since it is simple future okay we have we have the same rule with I am, you are, she is, we are, they are okay I am when we ask question uh, comes in the beginning okay so we use going to to tell to express our to express the meaning about future okay let's do some more practice now we will use okay indirect objects with going to okay and uh, do you know what are uh, indirect objects okay so we can say indirect object indirect object is the noun or pronoun okay that receives the direct object okay I'm going to buy my father something special okay I'm going to buy my father something special okay so something special is the direct object indirect object is my father I'm going to buy my father something special and going to this refers to the future Sarah isn't going to give Kirsten anything okay Sarah isn't going to this refers to future anything this is the direct object indirect object here we have Kirsten let's send mom and dad a card okay a card is the direct object mom and dad here they are indirect objects let's do some more practice now indirect object pronouns okay indirect object pronouns we can say me you him her us them okay so instead of my father you can say I'm going to buy him something special okay Sarah isn't going to give her anything. Let's send them a card. So these are indirect object pronouns. Okay. Now let's do some more practice on this unit. Now you can use present continuous or going to talk about plans. Okay. The present continuous is often used for plans with specific times or places. Okay, present continuous. Remember that we have 
the B form of the verb or the verb and ing okay so the present continuous is often used for plans with a specific times or places for example what are you doing Saturday evening okay so we have uh, specific what's your specific plan for Saturday evening okay we are going to the sea grill for dinner we are meeting friends there at 8.30. What are you going to do Saturday evening? Okay, we are going to go somewhere for dinner. We are going to meet some friends at a restaurant. So you can also use going to for predictions. Okay, it's going to be fun. Okay, it's going to be fun. It's going to snow tomorrow okay so present continuous or going to talk about plans okay it is often used for plans with a specific time or places we have seen uh, about a specific plans in all these sentences you can also use going to for predictions so this is all in unit 4 hope you have enjoyed your lesson okay have a nice day see you in the next class